Hello, happy Friday. My name is Yuna and I'm here to talk to you about cascade layers. What are cascade layers, you might be asking? Cascade layers are a new CSS API, which is hitting your browser soon because it is launching in Chromium 99, which is the current version of Canary, and it's in Firefox 97, which I believe is nightly. So cascade layers allow for you to create specificity based layers and help organize your CSS architecture. This is something that previously wasn't possible and we had to rely on selector specificity or the important uh, rule where we just stamp important on something to get it to be seen. Ah, so um, hopefully this fixes some specificity issues that you run into. There are some caveats, this does not solve scoping. So if you think it solves scoping, it does not. You still have to scope things to parents and to make sure that the styles don't leak out of the scope unintentionally, but it does help with specificity concerns. So let's take a look at this demo. I have just this file. Um, I'm using CodePen here and I have like a little article where I have some text and within that text you have links. And there are these two links here, which don't have a class name. I have a link here that has a class of link. And then I have a link here that has a class of pink. So I am writing these with layers. And here's where that code lives. This is actually a style block that's content editable. So you can go in here and change it around and play with it. I'll share this demo link um, wherever I share this video. That's TBD. So here uh, I start with a layer called base and I'm setting the A tag. So all of the links, everything with an A tag to a font weight of 800 and a color of red. I'm also creating a uh, element here with a class of link and that is going to get color blue. So in theory, dot link should override A because the selector specificity of a class is higher than a tag. So that's the first layer of base where I'm having red and blue links being applied. But if you look at this UI, there are no red or blue links. And that's because I'm using layers. The next layer, which is the typography layer, has an A tag with the color green. This A tag is going to have a higher specificity than both the A tag in base and the link, the class in base. And that's because the layer specificity will override the element specificity. So even though this link has a class of link, which should give it a color of blue, because in the next layer, the typography layer, we're saying we want all A tags to be green, this is going to win and get a higher specificity than anything in base that has the same scope. So on top of that, we have a utilities layer. And in here we have a utility class called pink. And this class is applied on this link, a link with a class pink. And so we're seeing this become pink. If we were to reorganize these styles, if I was to move utilities after base, but before typography, this utility class wouldn't apply because again, the specificity of this A tag, even though it's a lower element specificity, it has a higher layer specificity and therefore is overriding both of these, everything in here. Now all of the links are green. So we could apply our specificity and order layers that way in the UI, or at the top of the page, we could just set the order of all the layers. Now, the order of the specificity of the layers is determined based on the first time the layer is set. So if we do this before we're putting stuff in the layers or before we're importing layers, that's gonna be the source of truth. So if I wanted base to be on top of everything, I could set up at layer, and then I could write um, maybe typography first, and then maybe utilities, and then we want base. So now we have a typography layer, uh, then utilities, then base, and you see here now we have these red and blue links, because now base is taking precedence over the rest of the layers and we're setting all of the links, the A tags to color red, font weight 800, and then things that have a link class in the same layer have a higher specificity than the A tags in the same layer. So those are appearing blue. So this is a little bit about how to use layers in the cascade and control the cascade through layer specificity, which is a layer on top of other types of specificity like selector specificity and important. Um, and this gives us a little bit more architectural control over our styles, which is especially great when we're working with third party code or large code bases um, for organizing our styles. Uh, this could 
kind of get you to run into some weirdness if you don't know how it works. So I would highly recommend that you try this out, play with it. It is hitting stable browsers in upcoming versions. So I know that Chromium 99 is gonna be stable on March 1st, um, but it's in Canary now. So if you wanted to try it out there. Um, also, I'm writing an article about this. So I'll be sharing that article in the demo when that's ready. But for now, I just wanted to give you a little heads up about cascade layers and how they work. That's all, bye y'all.